Okay, so today I'm going to be giving a little bit of an introduction into what exponentials and logarithms are. Now, these are things you might have heard before. Um, in this video, I'm going to explain what they are, how they're related, and also going to look at some examples. So firstly, let's look at exponentials. So these are functions of the form y equals a to the power of x. So we've got the variable x raised to the power of another number. The number here, a, is called the base and x is the exponent. So this is why they're called exponential functions. And we can look to see what the graph is like. So we can plot this. And there are two different cases. So if a is greater than 1, this is a function that's going to grow very, very quickly. So it's going to look something like this. And it's going to exponentially increase. So the point, the y-intercept here, is where x equals 0. And this is just going to be 1, because uh, anything raised to the power of 0 is just 1. So this is the xy plane, remember? And this is a function that goes very quickly. On the other hand, if a is less than 1, we get a similar shape. So if a is less than 1, but instead of increasing, it's going to decrease. Because if we have a number that's less than 1, and we take powers of it, this number is going to go to 0 very quickly. So instead of going up, it's going to go down, and it's going to look like this. So it's essentially being reflected uh, along the, the, y, the vertical y-axis. So this, again, is the, uh, the y-intercept. So this is 1 because, again, anything to the power of 0 is 1. So now this is a function that decays quite slowly. But thinking about going in the other direction, it goes, grows very quickly because it's the same as this, just the other way around. So this is what the exponential function looks like. And depending on the base, a, this function will go really, really quickly or a bit slower. So if a is really big, then it becomes a bit steeper. So on the other hand, a logarithm this is a function of this form. So y equals log, and we write it like this, log to the base a of x. So firstly, I'm going to show you what this looks like, and then I'm going to explain what this means. So if I draw the xy plane, x and y, this function, if we sketch it, it looks like this. So the x-intercept, where it crosses the x-axis, this point is always 1, uh, no matter what a is. Typically, we consider when a is positive. So we only think about um, positive bases here. So again, this is called the base a. But now this logarithm, how it's defined, it's the inverse of the exponential. So these two functions are inverses to each other. So another way to think about that is this, the logarithm, is the reflection of the exponential in the line y equals x. So if I draw the line y equals x, it's just this graph that's been reflected along this line. So instead of going really quickly, it grows really quickly at the start. It's negative here, but then it kind of, it tends off and it flattens out and it starts growing a bit slower later on. So remember that I said this is the inverse of the exponential and we can actually represent that mathematically by this equation. So if we apply the logarithm of, instead of x, I'm going to apply the logarithm to the exponential. So logarithm base a of a to the power of x. And because this is the inverse function, it cancels out the function, and we're just left with x. So this is kind of another way to think about how logarithms are defined. If you apply a logarithm to the exponential, the same base, we just get the power. But not only is the logarithm the inverse of the exponential, the exponential is the inverse of the logarithm. So similarly, if we instead apply the exponential to the logarithm, we again get x. So what I, be, what I mean by that is if we apply a to the power of instead of x, I apply it to logarithm, base a of x, then this is also x. So the exponential cancels out the log. So now we have a rough idea of how these functions behave. We're now going to look at a couple examples uh, to work with numbers and see how they work exactly. So I'm just going to wipe this off. OK, so I've got four examples here of logarithms that we want to evaluate exactly. And the way we're going to do this is we're going to uh, use the idea we were talking about a second ago, that the logarithm base a is the inverse of the exponential. So if we apply this to the exponent of a to the power of x, then we just get x back. So if we can evaluate these numbers as exponentials, if I can write this in terms of the base, uh, which is given as these small numbers in here, then we can just see what the answer is going to be straight away. So let's look at the first one. We have log base 10 of 1,000. And so we want to write 1,000 in terms of base 10. And we can do that very conveniently, because 1,000 is just 10 multiplied by itself three times. So 1,000 is the same as 10 to the power of 3. And then using this, um, using this equation over here, we can work out what this is immediately, because the log base 10 is going to cancel with the base of 10 here, and we're just going to get the exponential. So 
this tells us that this actually equals to three. So log 10 of a thousand equals three. So let's look at the second one. It's gonna be the same idea. We want to express now 1024 as an exponent of base two. So two to the power of something. And it turns out that 1024, you might be familiar with, it's actually the same as two to the power of 10. So if I multiply two 10 times, we're gonna get this number. And then using the idea that logarithm is the inverse of the exponential, we just get that this is equal to 10. It's equal to the power. So this is the general idea. Now I've got two special cases. They're a bit easier, but they're really important to be aware about. So here we have uh, log base three of three. So we already have the number to the base that we want. So now we just need to be aware of that three is actually equal to three to the power of one. And so this is just equal to one. And this is actually gonna be true in general for any base. So if we have log base a of a, this is equal to one. So that's a really good fact to be aware of. And for the last example, we have another special case because we have log of three of one. And in fact, uh, one, we can always express this as any number to the power of zero. So we can write it as three to the power of zero. And this tells us that logarithm of one is always gonna be equal to zero. So that's another really important rule that log of base a of one for any base, this is equal to zero. So I hope that's provided a bit of intuition if you're not familiar with logarithms and exponentials. In the following videos, I'm gonna look at uh, some more important rules. So we have the laws of logarithms, which tells us how to manipulate more complicated expressions, and then we're gonna prove them. And also if we want to change the base, so this is all gonna come in the next few videos.